<laughs> mine's all fucked up. I'm like, wait, is it religion? I don't even know anymore. I was like, is this Mark? Is this Steven? Is this Conchu? Like, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Astro Vibe Show, where you come to vibe with the tribes. Um, we are watching episode five of Moon Knight. Um, last episode, what happened? Last episode, uh, a lot of things happened. Saw some hippos. All the directing stuff they did with that too is super creepy. I just want to know how she got away each time. It reminded me of oh, mommy. when she got pulled. In yeah, the thing. she just kept yeah. getting back out. Like, how you keep getting back out? Yeah. What are you doing? And that—that that is the crazy part that we are now is. Uh, is this in his head? Is not in his head? Is Steven's life actually in the mental hospital? Um, and he broke out and created the Mark persona uh, and then just started his life from there? Or was the Mark persona there first and then Steven, you know, came second? And that's been the question the whole time, so it's great to get to this point of like, we don't know what the fuck's going on. So, um, limbo. That's what I was thinking. He might be in limbo. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. He might be in limbo, but at the same time, he could be in a mental hospital. So we're going to watch this episode. We're going to find out. Uh, vibe of the day? Anyone? Yeah. Uh, consistency. Why consistency, good man? I say consistency because even in creation and just life, you cannot have, you cannot have growth without consistency. Ooh. Facts. That's a deep one. That's a deep one. Deep. I would also like to add that every episode of this show has consistently been fire. Lit. And deep. And lit. All the things. All and the things. tea. Yep. Nah, let's not bring that in. I love tea. Alright, so let's jump into this episode. That was a good moment when they actually start working together. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool to see them actually like interact with each other. Mm-hmm. Right. Because there's always one or the other. Hi! Hi. <laughs> that would have scared me. The fact that she's not going to it or something. Yeah, that, that really caught me. I expected her voice, hey! That's not about Puny god. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's that uh, other goddess that was nice to him in the court. Oh, yeah, you did say yeah, that. I, did say huh. that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's her, but that's her uh, goddess that brought him there to yeah. the limbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all your fault! <laughs> Calm down, Mark. Mark, I can damn. shoot you. Your mind is violently vacillating between sense and Did nonsense. Picture oh, this. Right? You're brave. Superhero, right? You're doing everything and everything possible not to look within. Not Wait, is it transitioning from Steven and to Mark? Why you keep yeah. good. imaginary fights in our hospital? Tell me, tell me, how did you come to be here today? How did you get here? <laughs> I took the bus. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was great. You told me that you were I took the bus. That was you said balance? Yeah, where they start getting the fate thing from. Like, I seen this can, of course, but where did that, where did that idea of the fate come hmm. from? Somebody else will see a maze or a lion. And I wonder if they're wonder- going to show us the tattoo. Yeah. It could be. Because he has long sleeves. Yeah. What I find. Damn, they're talking about releasing the monster, and I think they're talking about the other personality. Well, he's messing with me. Time out. I'm afraid you're actually quite dead. Oh. Sorry, what? Mind freak! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. She licked her lips. <laughs> Jewot, the Egyptian underworld. This is Tawarit, goddess uh-huh. of women and children. And she's guiding us through our journey to the afterlife. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're like half right, half, because the other girl was song and dance. Yeah. Yeah. This is the afterlife. The afterlife. Ah, afterlife. The afterlife. You'd be surprised how many intersectional planes of untethered consciousness exist. Mm. Like the ancestral plane. Oh, just gorgeous. Uh, anyway, how do you actually. Oh, that's Wakanda. Cards for all this? Ancestral plane? Mm. Yeah. I think. Yep, you're right. Why would we imagine this realm to be a Probably not theirs. Because we're insane. Oh, it's the other dudes. It's the other dudes. What was. Wait, I'm trying to figure out if he called him Steve or Martin. 
So you guys are thinking that it's the third personalities. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they may be made up personalities and that other one's the actual. Or they just all three believe. Yeah. That would be. Damn, bro. Mind free. <laughs> Mind free. I'm going for David Blaine's show. Mm. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Jeez. I love the epic. <laughs> <laughs> Just a boat traveling through sand. Okay. Yeah, the yes. whole fucking, yeah. Colors are amazing. Orange and purple. Gold and purple. Oh, oh goody! Oh, it worked! Look at that! It was little old me worrying I'd blow your chest wide open. Sorry, Jeez. She's looking at their hearts. She's weighing her hearts. Oh, snap. The truth of truth. See, the ancient Egyptians believed that the heart was, was the soul of who you really were in life. You're not going to feel the way it's wow. Oh, wow. A lot of people are in that sand. Right. Kill the hippo, steal the ball. Mark is different. Fellas. That's that scale, yeah, and that's the Ahmed's whole... Deal. No. Uh, and they good. couldn't balance before. <laughs> they couldn't balance because they don't have the third personality. Man, because they need all three of them. Could be a trifecta. Yeah. Oh. Trust me, I'm a goblet half full kind of gal, but it's like they each feel in. Yeah, all right. So how are we supposed to do this? Start at the tomb. Sure. Just saying, there is one hippo and two of us, and this ship can't be that hard to steer. So you don't have to actually, you know, like <laughs> what the camera guy. called it, tell it. No, just you know, find me a rope and and and, and get yeah. all. We can do what she says and like, help each other uncover whatever it is that we're hiding. Apparently. David, I don't know about you, but my memories are a freaking mess. Oh, yeah. Mine too. Oh, when he was beating that. Damn, he was beating that. Yeah, Oh, the sky is spinning. Whoa. That's wild. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, because he wasn't there to see that. What's this? Just a creepy cat filled oh, with shit. dead bodies. Mm. That's all it is. No prizes. Guessing whose room this is. Yours. Funny. <laughs> so the memories they don't remember are the third person. Third person. Damn. Those are the people who escaped. Now what, what do we do? You go next to I can tell this is going to be an episode where we're not going to speak too much because there's so much shit. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm, I'm just like, I, I forgot can't we were even. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait. Fuck. Is there a child? About the boy? We're like, oh, you were talking about a boy before. And then he's like, don't let that monster out. And he just goes into a room, so he might as well. Yeah. Right so the boy, damn, so the third. Oh, doesn't want him to find out. It's too aggressive. Third personality is the main one because it's a boy. The yeah. boy is your original when you first started creating these two different sides. Oh, mom. Whoa. Ready? Who's hungry? Oh. So here's Steven's memories. Not Steven's, the third ones, I think. Or it might be Marcus. Oh. Mark's a brother, yeah. Wait. <gasps> no. We'll eat later. Yeah. Boys, we're down so long. Hey, 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 Mark. Yo. What do you do? She's a brother. brother. She's okay. talking to the older brother. Later's gators. Wild crocodile. Later's gators. Whoa. Later's gators. So he doesn't yeah. even... He Damn. he created this world. Well, this inside of his head wants something tragic happened. Yep. Okay. She's the one. want to find out what it is. So this is the whole movie thing they were talking about where he was watching the movie. Mm-hmm. And then there's... Punch you right there. Um. Well, I'm not ready to get sad. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my god. Why is this show written so well? Boys! I'm Man. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> How's it going? 
doing, dude? <laughs> Trying to save the boys. Yeah. This must be where his brother, his brother probably dies. But they were able to pick them up a little more. Boys, yeah. Well, it's filling up kids, as yeah. they're it's filling up as they're because it's coming in a hole of the the cave, oh, yeah. and then it's filling up on the other side. And he remembers now; their memories are joined. Yeah, and it's, since all the water's coming in one direction, it's hard to like make it out the other way because yeah. all the pressure's coming towards you. So that's too much. Wow, this is a heavy episode. Stephen died. Damn! Did Steven and Mark die? No, it looks like Steven died. Hey, Steven. Hey, I'm not playing for a row. Oh, but... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Will I this? Mind freak. <laughs> what are you doing here? Hmm? Come on, buddy. You were supposed to keep him safe. Stephen, let's go. Oh. I am drowned. This is all your fault. This is all your fault. Stephen, come here. Come here. So they weren't real brothers. Just the parents got married. And she lost her actual son and can never forgive him for it. I think they're all related. Why do you think they're not related? Because as a mom, you're not going to, if that's your actual son, you're not going to shun him out like that. It doesn't matter what he's doing. You're not going to shun him out. Unless you're just a bad parent. <laughs> yeah, right, dramatically that. just damaged. Yeah. But that's your son still. Yeah. Right. It's your baby boy. Can't have a birthday without your favorite cake. <laughs> and then he looks more like the father than the mother, but... You were always jealous of him. Fuck. Ever since he was born. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I shouldn't help you with something like this. Oh yeah, she's just fucked up. That's messed up. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? 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 Why are like you can't. Oh snap! We will fix this. You're supposed to fix this. I mean, why haven't you? Should not see it. Oh, the dead grave site. Or the uh, digging site. And then got another one. Block, block. <laughs> <laughs> job was to raid an Egyptian tomb. Bushman changed the plan. Called for no witnesses and I couldn't have that. Is that Dr. Foley? Maybe Damn. that. What a waste. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> I feel being in search. You know what? I've been trying to figure out what this voice sounds like in Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I get it too. It's a little different. Yeah. Even the delivery. That's crazy because they've been showing this image like since the beginning. Since the show first started airing, I didn't know what it was from. Some of his monkeys. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, he's on. He's on. He's on these fucking almond. 
I'm kind of glad they didn't go super deep, but I really wish they did. Because I want to know, like, how it got triggered. Exactly. Oasis. <laughs> See, all the way back. Yeah. Again, perfect writing, because they, they did explain a lot. Just got to explain. But I'm still, like, I still want to know more. And I think that's a good place. Like, you never want to get all the answers, because then... What's the point of continuing to watch if you know everything? Mm -hmm. They're doing a good job making you fall in love with the characters. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Mark, you're about to lose everything. Do you understand? If Layla dies, that's on your head. It'll be all your fault. No, 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 you can't. I won't do it. Oh, and this moment. His acting is so good too. You watch too many movies, all right? <laughs> we can't involuntarily sedate patients. His mind is fractured yeah. and broken. Well, that's absolutely necessary. Wow. Oh, Mark. Mind free. <laughs> Remember, you thought that was Kevin Bacon? <laughs> 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 Just looking at him like. No, he up? said Kevin Bacon. I started making jokes. Oh, no, you, you, I don't know about white actors too well. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez. You created Stephen to hide from all of the awful things you feel you've done in your life. Or do you think Stephen created Mark to punish the world for what your mother did to you? Open this door! Open this door right now! I want to see what she did. I want to see what she did. What, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That hated you? Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! I brought this here? After your mother passed. Oi, don't say that. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, please don't do that. It's Remy. Uh, Stephen's here. He'd like to speak with you. This is hella sad. Stephen. Would you like to speak to him, Mark? Who is that? Damn. Wow. This mo this moment right here when he's like looking at that phone, I'm like, fuck, she's about to speak? Like, I mine is in so many different places. I'm like, I don't know if she's about to speak and then I'm gonna be wrong again. It's like, it's hard for me to even it's assume like anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tactic's wild, but it worked. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. The That's the scene where they saw each other on the street! Which is fucking wild. Oh, yo! It's literally a food and liquor place right across the street. Damn. Won't even go inside. It's a dom straight. Dude, it's just... He's lit. Not giving it a satisfaction? Jesus. Gravity. No, he's not gonna give him the satisfaction of crying. I see, okay. Cause all the stuff that happened to him. That's tough. Yeah. I was thinking this is the third personality at first because like, he had the fucking, uh, oh, what's it called? The uh, yarmulke on his head. And then I was like, wait, Jewish is not a, a race. And then yeah, I was thinking all kinds <laughs> of shit. <laughs> my mind's all fucked up. I'm like, wait, is it religion? I don't even know anymore. My whole. I was like, is this Mark? Is this Steven? Is this Conchu? Like, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Conchu shows up with two yarmulke. Conchu's his grandpa. Like, fuck. Call and I just picked it up and just straight to it. I'm totally lost again. It's crazy how he cr created Steven to be so close to his mom. 
Yeah. No matter what happened, Steven was close to his mom. And it's crazy because he created Steven and he's talking like, you know, I created you so you could have the happy life and blah, blah. But really, he created Steven to protect himself. Mm-hmm. Because every time, like, the mom would come in, or when mom came in to whoop him, he switched over to Steven. So it's like, more to block out the memories. Hey, Steve, uh, they, got, they got food for you. <laughs> oh, they do? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. My man acting. He might be, you know. Y'all tell me. Top top acting in Marvel Universe. Like, I'm at, I'm at a point where I'm just like, yo. Like, to think about how they shot these scenes. From like, okay, we're going to shoot this angle. Film the whole entire scene. That's what okay. I'm saying. Now you're going to play this. Now imagine you were talking to yourself. Remember that Because even the grabbing and all. Yeah, like, the yeah. way they're grabbing himself. Yeah, I'm just like. like the transition. His acting's phenomenal. See, in CGI, like in these parts, like, are they just throwing sand every time? <laughs> like, what is happening? And my whole, my man's whole face is off. There's no way that's special effects or practical effects. I got, you, bro, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> and see, she can That's leave bro. because normally there's only one soul. Now there's two and they can kind of help each other out. Yeah. Oh! Cracked it. Yo! I kind of agree with you on the acting, but I don't know anyone else that's had to take on this kind of a role. That's what I'm saying. It's like in the Marvel universe. That's a lot of sand. I've got this too. That's what I'm saying, bro. Where the fuck is the sand coming from? They literally have it in their hand. They're just grabbing it and letting go. Filming their shirts and shit. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey. I prefer cricket. I prefer cricket. <laughs> I'm about to get this Molly Wall. Just, just, just stop, man. <laughs> Damn. Trying to put a sand hand up. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Kind of effects. <laughs> I guess they CGI'd sand man. Oh, oh no. He's good. He's not dead. He's not. Can we ever get out of the sand? I wonder. Oh. Wait, don't tell the guy to stop the boat. Stop the boat. Ah, it's over. That's deep. Y'all really gotta stop cutting these onions, man. Uh, No, no. (laughs) Golly. Fuck. So. In the violin, just make it even more sad. Right. Balance. What does this mean? Where, where does she be coming from? She's a god. She's a whole god, she can, man. She can do she Bro, but she just be like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Hey, she wanted to give him some time. That nothing to do with them. Yeah, low key, she really bought, bought him some time because she was like, okay, like the time's up, and then she was like, you know, I'm gonna conveniently not go look bathroom. real quick. Yeah, so right. you can figure this shit out. Yeah, that's crazy. So this is a, supposed to be at peace now, or you start a new life, or oh, and that's the end of the episode. Oh, wow. uh, Bro, so I would have been mad. I'm in the middle of the day. Weeks. Thoughts. My thoughts. Uh, I only have one word, and that's mind freak. <laughs> that's all I got for y'all. No, this was a good ass episode. People were talking about episode four being crazy. I guess that's like the point where like it started. Just oh, and then you got season. I can only imagine what's about to happen for the, the season, season finale. finale. Oh my god! Wow. They, they got still here? never even addressed the fact. Like, who is in that other? That coffin. other coffin. The other well, I think, like you yeah. said, I think the boy was in there, and they didn't want to. He didn't want that, that memory to be released. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it wasn't a different personality. Oh, I guess it was just a memory. It was definitely a different no. personality because neither one of them remember killing that guy. Yeah, they remember they in the field, yeah. and they were like, well, "Oh, like, why'd you kill him?" him? He's like, "I didn't kill him." So there has to be another person. There has to be another person. Hmm. At first, I thought they were gonna give me anything about when Stephen was created, and then boom. boom. That's not my mom. That's not my mom. That's not my mom. And then it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, and it's Dang, this room. 
Yeah, I don't immediately. Know what that one, but <laughs> 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 it's like he so, just said. What in British? I tell you that. Yeah, my, really got me was his brother. Cause I got brothers too. So the fact that he took yeah. his brother and, and then that me, happened, and then and his mom is doing that, man. I just got to me. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, fuck. Because I, I never, I would never put my brothers in danger. And see, and he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, he, they're yeah, kids. Yeah, it's exactly. like they don't. You, I'm as a, a parent, I'm a black dude. I've been black all my life. Niggas know not to go in no cave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, care what you talking about. Me and Malik, when we was kids, we used to get. In, it was a big ass bush. We used to sit in and have plums in it. We just be. Put, that's the most we get to a cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are sheltered children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> Probably. Damn. Uh, I gotta be honest. I've been in hella caves. <laughs> in a lot of caves. I mean, literally, we went to eight, my family went to the eight caves. <laughs> when, when I was like, my whole family. Yeah, like, that's, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. The crazy thing is, he was like, I'm in the hella cave. Then you go, our first cave was eight caves. <laughs> the fact, the fact that you probably never bring up that you have been in the cave. <laughs> this episode came up. Yeah, I know, right? No, I, mean, I gotta tell you guys so I've been in a couple of caves. <laughs> <laughs> first cave, uh, what's called? What oh. I find. Like what really uh, threw me off is uh, just, wait sorry you say eight caves yeah you said eight caves eight caves like oh ape ape caves like planet of the ape right? yeah. oh, so shit. your first cave was, adults, right? was an ape cave yeah yeah, yeah. I your was first cave but that's wild He's not <laughs> but that's what I'm saying you were with an adult you know what hold on caves. so my father is actually half white and half black so now I'm thinking about <laughs> it. you know. What do I know? Oh, <laughs> you know what, what, what do I know? Well, I, I'm going to the caves. Reverse card. Right? <laughs> right? I'm thinking about it. I'm like, huh? Oh, oh, we know it's caves. The uh, crazy, but wait, I have to specify. I am not part black, part white. But my father has been there since I was one. Is half white. So you know, oh, this, yeah, yeah, no, no, this I know explains. What you're I don't. Yeah, people yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. yeah, remember Link said he was white that way. <laughs> you know, don't put that on me. What? What? You know. I'm, uh, I have no problem with any race. It's just like, you know, it's just, let me do me. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so, like, the fact that they went into the cave when it was raining, the mom just was like, you can't go in there when it's raining. Not explaining why mm. was, is what got them in there. Like, that kind of like a learning parent movement where it's like, all right, well, now I got to explain to you why you can't do this. Because you're like, it rains, whatever. It's raining. We're in shelter. We're kids. We can go in here. We'll get out. They're not knowing that the rain is gonna cause this to fill up so quickly. So now you lose your brother, and then and, 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 and yeah. now you're to blame, but really it's on the mom for not explaining, but also it's still not her fault. That's, no one is, yeah. is no one's at fault me, here, but it's like you like, can't, huh? My mom told me don't go past that yard. That's all I needed. Ex as soon as I went past that yard, I found out. I got my ass whooped. That's the thing is, yeah, you still, <laughs> but you still did it. That's the hard part, yeah. Like what you're saying with parenting, I think, like, because at any, like, as a parent, you know, with your own life and your significant other and child or multiple children, you only have so much uh, mental stamina to explain every single thing, especially mm -hmm. kids. Kids ask so many questions that you're not explaining. Like, why can't and I every grab kid poop out of the toilet? Out of it. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? What, am I, what am I supposed to tell you, kid? <laughs> like, at that point, it's like, <laughs> all you can be telling us is gross, right? Yeah, it's gross. I'm like, what is gross? And, you know, I've been around a lot of kids. <laughs> you know, I raised my brothers and sisters practically, and it's just. It's at wild. that point, for her to blame him so heavily, it made me think that the parents came together like your situation where you came in at one. It's mm -hmm. like, all right, now this is a kid. His brother was a kid that was born by both of them. Mm -hmm. And he was just his father's kid. I think but like, yeah, cause she didn't claim him, but like the dad did say my boy, or I can't lose another son. She didn't, you know, she necessarily didn't. She, she, and even the, when she said that, I, I knew that you would do something like this. It's like, yeah. that doesn't say that that's not her child, yeah, yeah, but yeah, she just sure. mentioned how he was jealous when he was born. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Mm, so yeah. are they like that does yeah and but that's the great part about this writing is they give you what you need and they're like well you know if you want to know more than study and you know read comic books and do that and everything like that but they give you so much um that you feel 
I feel pretty fulfilled. I'm just like, I just want to keep watching the show. Yeah, right? same. There's same. one more episode, and I'm like, I need another season. Bro, I Last thoughts. Any more thoughts? Because we got the season finale next week, and uh, I imagine we're gonna have a huge conversation after that one. So the filming, production, and the cinematography in this oh my was God. beautiful. Amazing. Was crazy. You know how much time and effort they had it set up and like the plan out and just <laughs> everything. Like, uh, well, yeah, duh. I mean, like, how oh, much? No, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. But it was just so awesome just to see him act. Yeah. Just act himself, even if yeah. it was with another person when they did, if it was CGI, which I doubt it was, but he was acting with himself. But yeah. Just double personality deal. The just, entire episode. It was yeah. Crazy, the effects. It was dope. Yeah, because even if it was CGI, that like, he started to act that position, they just took that face. There really wasn't serious. another person in here except for Kevin Bacon. And. <laughs> Yeah, the zombie extras basically were the zombie, yeah. you know, and uh, they were barely support there. characters. Yeah, it's just him acting with himself. <clears throat> it was good to know that uh, he actually created Steven instead of it being like Kanchu put it into him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. they made this a lot more grounded and a lot more, uh, you know, emotionally relatable because this is based off of a, a actual <laughs> mental health disorder. You know what I mean? Compared to it being some supernatural spiritual thing. You know, what I mean? I'm now into the character. I was into the story, yeah. now I'm into the character. Mm -hmm. Now I want to know what uh, uh, Mark is about to do by himself. That's the part where I'm, I'm kind of... Yeah, we'll see next episode. I'm, I'm going to save a lot of my thoughts. But I'm just kind of sad. Even if Steven's gone and like that's for the betterment. Like Steven was like a big part of this whole thing. Like mm -hmm. that personality, that... Um, the accent, the comedy, the lightheartedness. Like he knew a lot about the Yeah, that's right. All this stuff. All that stuff. <laughs> I know we said a lot of random shit throughout this episode so uh if we said some incorrect facts um excuse us you know but feel free to go to race but yeah yes well did man. you say jewelry Jeez. look so uh <laughs> welcome back uh, wait <laughs> we said my mind my mind's off <laughs> all right y'all right. uh, until next time like Comment, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell. Because if you don't hit it, then you're not going to get any notifications of these awesome videos that are coming up. And they're everywhere. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Do it. If you don't hit that bell, like he said, you just won't get any of those notifications. Okay. All right, y'all know it. Y'all know the deal. All right, y'all. Much love. Peace.